Well, tonight, an ex-Kershaw County deputy has begun serving a year-long prison sentence for beating up a suspect. A judge sentenced Jonathan Goldsmith late this afternoon, shortly after a jury convicted him of assaulting Tony Sims back in 2020. Our News 19's Walker Lawson joins us from the Kershaw County Courthouse with the latest. The four day assault and battery trial of Jonathan Goldsmith has come to an end after a jury found him guilty on both charges. Goldsmith was caught on body camera footage, knocking the victim unconscious, tasering him and using pepper spray. During the trial, prosecutors said this was a clear case of excessive force with Goldsmith knocking out several of the victim's teeth. Goldsmith's attorneys tried to claim he was justified because Sims was non-compliant during the arrest, but the jury rejected that argument. We heard from Tony Sims after the verdict, who says he's still experiencing complications from the incident. I had none of that bad. on my towel. I'm still broken at the time, at the moment. So, I just wanted to let you know that. Okay. Anything else you'd like to say? I, I might have for the mask on, on the sentence. Awesome. We heard from solicitor Byron Gibson and assistant Insane. solicitor Paul Walton who prosecuted the case. Goldsmith could have gotten 13 years behind bars, but after considering several factors, the judge gave the one year sentence. We're going to put the facts out there for the jury, um, and he's guilty of misconduct in office. He's guilty of assault and battery second degree, and uh, sentencing is going to be up to, uh, to the judge to make that decision. Uh, he balanced factors because, I mean, quite frankly, uh, Mr. Goldsmith's background is he was a, he's a war veteran, you know, multiple tours overseas uh, in combat. He's been an officer for years, and so judge evidently, I mean, obviously balanced those things, and there's nothing improper about balancing those factors in a sentence. So our job our job is to bring the evidence. Our job is to um, properly present the case, and uh, we did those things. The conviction was uh, was 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 brought back, which is what we um, believed was proper, and uh, and it has been affirmed by this jury that it was proper. Now, Goldsmith has worked for three different law enforcement agencies in the Midlands. He was fired from the Kershaw County Sheriff's Department a month after this incident. I'm Walker Lawson, News 19, WLTX.